What's going on guys, JP Super Gaming here, back with another Phoenix Craft Challenge video. Uh this is we sorry if my audio sounds bad. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna edit this video so things might sound a little bad or look bad. Um <laughs> White and black. Also recording. Anyways, this is week seven. This is week seven of Phoenix Craft challenges, or I should say, this is the seventh challenge in the Phoenix Craft challenge thing thing. <laughs> Anyways, this uh this challenge is for redstoners only. It can be the challenge would is any contraption, so it can be any type of redstone contraption. I'm gonna go over here because it's a little loud, and I have cows in here. Okay, never mind. That's not that's not any better. And there's a creepy noise. Anyway, this challenge is hosted by Spiderstream YT. And the rules are, number one, the build must be original. Number two, the build must be interesting. Number three, no copyright, no copyright tutorial. And number four, it must be creative. The reward is a special role, which is a redstone engineering role, which will give you special access to the redstone squad. Uh, redstone barracks and everything. Special channels only redstoners can get access to if you've won a challenge. You also get a shout out in Spiderstream's video and could possibly be in a video with Spiderstream. Um, this is my this is my entry and my my contraption that I have here is on the official Phoenix Craft server and it is the, my sheep farm. Let's get back in first person mode here. So keep in mind that my sheep farm that's not my sheep farm, it's my cow farm. Keep in mind my sheep farm where did Hollow go? Hollow's gone. Okay, 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 okay. It's oh no. Okay, okay, let's let's concentrate. Concentrate, JP. Concentrate. Keep in mind that uh I actually legit legitimately just upgraded my farm right now so that it's slightly more efficient. The way that it works is when that hopper timer clock goes off, it activates all these pistons and also dispensers. These are dispensers, right? I hope they're called dispensers. When it okay, so when the redstone is activated, these dispensers uh, activate and shear the sheep. When that happens, excuse me, you have to burp. When that happens, it also activates pistons automatically. When there's a piston underneath a dispenser, the piston will be activated at the same time when a dispenser is activated. So when that happens, these pistons go off, pushing the wool, any wool over here to the middle. And then these pistons, uh, right here and right here, will push the wool in the middle towards the hopper. This design is also has 16 different chambers. Each chamber could fit two sheep. Um, with regular designs that you find most commonly online, you would find this. You can only fit those usually 16 different small glass tubes or chambers, you can say, that have each color of sheep in it. With that design, you can get us only a certain amount of wool. With this design, you get twice as much as the wool, twice as much, twice as much wool as you would with that design. Now, I do have it because it is this design is also server proof. Um, whenever because minecarts don't work at well on this server and probably most other servers, I have a completely. It's all underneath. It's like catacombs. It's all completely hoppers. When the hoppers are activated uh, when the hot when the wool gets pushed into the hoppers all the hoppers lead the wool into my item sorter which is back here let me show you how it works real quick so the hoppers push the wool into that dispenser which put which puts the wool outputs the wool into this glass tube and it's called an item elevator the item elevator pushes the um wool into this water water thingy I forgot what it's called a water escalator or something like that water con water conveyor it's called a water conveyor and the water conveyor 
outputs all the wool sorted color coded too all sorted into these different chests blue red green and so on it's all sorted into their own little categories it also does it does now keep in mind i come in here a lot and I actually take a lot of wool uh, i've had somebody come in here and took almost all my wool they paid me diamonds for it by the way so let's see how much wool i've managed to get since then yeah, quite a bit the chest is they're gonna be full soon give it a few more hours if I were AFK here these chests would be completely full anyways this is my design I completely designed it myself this grass path here is here for a reason to make sure once if the sheep eat all the grass inside it's perfectly okay because the grass will grow back using this I've tested it plenty of times plenty of times I know by now that the grass will grow back also, I have this glowstone here to produce light because grass needs a light source in order to grow back. Well, this is here for decoration because it looks cool and also because it does help. Anyways, this is my sheep farm. The clock, by the way, I don't remember exactly how long it takes, but I'm pretty sure it's about every three minutes that half a clock will go off. Anyways, let's go back into third person mode. This is... Remember, this is on the official Phoenix Craft server, and this is my Phoenix Craft Week 7 challenge entry. Hope I win. If you want to enter the Phoenix Craft challenges, then I would suggest joining the Phoenix Craft Discord. You can find the link somewhere in my other videos. I will not be posting a link in this in the description of this video. And you can also follow the Phoenix Craft Twitter, and you could probably find a link there too. The Phoenix Craft Twitter is at Phoenix Craft 10. All lowercase, I believe. I'm not sure. If not, then you can follow me on Twitter at JP Tomlin, which is capital, which is going to be the at capital J, lowercase p, capital T, lowercase o m e r l i n. Anyways, this is it. This is my Phoenix Craft Challenge entry. JP Super Gaming out.